Well, hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about magnetism and what is magnetism. So first, the word magnetism comes from the Greek word magnetikos and this word is related to an area in Greece called magnesia. And in this area, you can find the stone magnetite which had the propriety to attract ferrous element. So magnetism describes a, a physical phenomenon, a mineral phenomenon. And when we talk about human or animal magnetism, it's an analogy with this phenomenon. So the theory of animal magnetism comes from uh, Franz Anton Mesmer, who was a German doctor and this doctor wrote a thesis on the influence of planets on the human body and Mesmer thought, like the old alchemist, that there were a soul of the world, an anima mundi, a life force, an energy behind things and he created the theory of animal magnetism which is explained by a universal fluid and Mesmer thought that pretty much everywhere in all the universe there were a fluid and this fluid could receive, propagate and communicate all impression of movement. So magnetism is all about movement, fluid and impression of movement. So the theory of Mesmer is all about uh, the fluid and the movement that we can attract, push, we can give a ton of movement, a direction, a speed. So the question is how, how it works, how we can manipulate this fluid. Well, for Mesmer, it's directly through our nerves. It's not a sensory modality, it's not touch, but this is a propriety of the nervous system to directly feel the impression of movement from the fluid. So the theory of Mesmer is really related to the nervous system and how all nerves can uh, feel impression of movement. So Mesmer was a doctor and he really thought that his uh, theory uh, could be uh, related to healing practice. He thought that disease were due to a dysfunction in the inner body movement or in the movement of our organs and the magnetic practice consisted by regulate the fluid and the movement inside our body. And this theory is very common to several uh, concepts and theory that we have in uh, some culture and different places in, in the world. So the, the concept of uh, life force and life energy is spread to the whole planet. For example, in China, we have the concept of qi, which is the, the life force energy. And in acupuncture, the, the practitioner try to regulate the, the qi through the body and through the organs, so it's very close to the magnetic practice. In Japan, we have the, the name ki, which is also the life force concept, and we have the therapy raiki. And in India, we have a whole concept of prana, and prana is very close to the air we, we breathe. Prana is also related to our chakra system and all the energy and life force body that in India they have with the different chakra. But we, we're gonna see that uh, later. And very close to us, we have the psychiatrist uh, William Reich that uh, first was a psychoanalyst and he really was interested in the body and he called organ a life force energy that for him came from the atmosphere and uh, cosmic sources. So even the alchemists with the anima mundi, we can see that this concept of life force has always uh, existed. And the theory of Mesmer 
uh, really can make us think about uh, vibration and movement and the impact that they have on our life. And this theory of animal magnetism pretty much um, show human beings as magnets uh, and we have the possibility to attract things and push things and also we have a consciousness of the energy and of what is influencing us. So this theory can be really uh, useful if you want to grow the consciousness that you can have uh, of the energy around you. And with this theory we can allow us to uh, be more sensitive to the nature that is uh, around us, uh, the atmosphere, uh, the light, because uh, we can um, consider ourselves and our body as a receiver and a transmitter of energy of all kinds. Animal magnetism explained that that we have, uh, uh, we can influence, and we also have, we also are influenced. And with that, we can think of what are we transmitting to the world and we, we can think about our thinking process and our emotion also as a, a vibrating thing, that's something that push vibration. And we can start to ask ourselves uh, about it and about how our emotion and our thinking process can create in our life, in our reality. So hope you like this first video on uh, animal magnetism. We're going to have other video on this subject on magnetism. So hope you like it and uh, I see you for the next one. Bye.